Welcome and thank you for choosing Toodledo. In this video, we will learn how to use folders, context, goals, and locations to organize your to-do list. First, I'm going to show you about folders. Here you'll find the folders view. I don't have any folders yet, so I'm going to quickly add some by typing here. Folders are a useful way to organize your task into different project areas. You can manage your folders by selecting folders from the Organize menu. Here you can add, edit, delete, reorder, or archive folders. You can create folders for certain areas of activity, like home or work, or you can get more specific like this. When you're finished making any changes, be sure to press save. Archiving is for folders that we no longer need and privacy is for collaboration, which we will cover in a future video. Now that I have my folder set up, I'm gonna go back and assign my task to these folders. You can add a folder to folder list tasks like this and you can assign a folder when creating a new task as well. There! Once you've assigned tasks to folders, you can then drill into individual folders like this. I just thought of another folder that will be helpful to me, so I'm going to quickly add it now. Next, let's discuss context. Here you will find the context view. You can edit and manage your context list the same way I explained with folders. Using context is a good way to focus on tasks that I could do right now with the resources at hand. For example, if I have my email open, I can quickly find all the tasks pertaining to email, so I can be efficient and do them all at once. From any list, I can use the context filter located in the Show Toolbar menu to quickly hide tasks that I can't do right now. For example, if I was at the office, I could set the filter, like this, to show me only those tasks that can be done at the office. Here you will find the goal view. Goals are created in the same way as folders in context, but they have some additional features in the Organize section that I would like to highlight. Tracking goals will help you stay motivated and focused on achieving these goals. Here you can see that goals can be sorted into lifelong, long-term, or short-term categories. When you complete a task that contributes to one of your goals, Toodledo will keep track of it. You will be able to see the number of tasks that you have completed for each goal, as well as the goal's chain. The chain gets longer for each consecutive day that you do a task that contributes to the goal. If you make progress on a goal each day, you will have a long chain. If you miss a day, that chain will get broken. Try not to break the chain. This is a good way to motivate yourself to work on your goals. You can set it up so that short-term goals contribute to higher level goals. So when you complete a task, the chains for both goals get extended. Next I will discuss locations. Adding locations to your tasks allow you to visually see where they're located on a map. You can also sort your list by distance to find the tasks that are near your current location. When you add a location from the Organize section, you can set its location and add additional information, such as address, phone number, or hours of operation. I'm going to open this location and pinpoint the exact spot of the map. Just drag and drop the pin anywhere on the map, or you can type in the address and it will map it for you. That's all for this video. In the next video, we will learn about the Notebook section. Toodledo is an extremely powerful to-do list that can be customized to work according to your specific needs. I hope that this video has helped you understand the basics of our service, and I hope that Toodledo can help you stay organized and be more productive. Thanks for signing up, and again, welcome to Toodledo.